guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting to to episode 6 of Check Girls, so let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, go. Here we go. Oh yeah, because it, yeah... I forgot. It like sort of ended on like a cliffhanger last week. I'm like, mm. Mm. Yeah, we still not going to talk about that start last week. Mm -mm. Probably after the race. It's fine. Why do I feel like this is going to overtake her for this whole freaking episode? She's going to be so... I don't think she's going to, like, be depressed about it. I think she's just going to be really upset about it. And it just, you know, Misa is going to see that her girlfriend, Rin, is really upset about it. Even though she just said, you know, hey, it's okay. Don't worry about it. Just focus on the race. They might end up losing this. And then she's going to have no one to blame but herself. Rin is just going to be that one who is going to be so upset. And think about what she did wrong and what she could have did right. And then Misa's going to be like, you know what? Let's go out on a date. Let's go bowling. <laughs> that solves everything, right? Going bowling. You know, taking your frustrations out on something else. Yeah. Kind of. It could work. Maybe. I still don't know how I feel about these two get the Hell Kitchen girls. Like, I, I like them, but at the same time, I'm just like, yeah, it's a no for me. <laughs> I don't know, maybe because the fact is that they remind me of Nico, and I like Nico a lot, but I don't like other characters that are trying to be like Nico. Because sometimes when I see it, I'm just like, no, just stop. <laughs> Mm -hmm. My eyes bothering me. What the heck? And like these two.
I mean, she is right about that, though. Mm-hmm. I mean, there's still a way for them to just turn it around. It's just it it depends on rain. <laughs> you know what's funny about the uncensored? I mean, yeah, the uncensored one. And when it's boobs, it kind of gives me feel so much grave, you'll drop out with the all holy light. <laughs> oh, oh my god. <laughs> God, yeah, they might actually lose this. And that's gonna hurt if they do, really. But damn. They, uh, okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Rain's gonna be a little upset about this. <laughs> and when I mean a little, I mean a lot. They sure did. He might go cry. Well, I mean, you know, she seemed fine, but Yeah, we can try again on a date. Yeah, let's just pray that this time you guys don't get separated because, I mean, that would be really, really bad. I mean, hold each other's hands, something. Oh. <laughs> 
Mm. Mm. They screwed up the picture. Yeah, you guys met her in episode one. <laughs> if only, I mean, you know, come on. Misa is tall, so she could have, like, extended her arm out a lot more. But it, it, it's okay. It happens to all of us. Yes. We're not really going to have another freaking race. We're going to do it in bowling, right? Yeah. Oh, my God. I haven't been doing it forever. At least you're trying. Poor two babies. They're, they're getting their butts kicked at everything. Even basketball? Y'all got your butt kicked in basketball and DDR. What the heck?
Is it weird that I'm kind of getting, oh my god, what is the name of that dang game? Dead or Alive or whatever the heck it's called? <laughs> You poor babies. And Matt. 20. Oh my god! <laughs> oh. Yeah, they had teamwork. Same thing like the Hell Kitchen girls. Unlike you two, you have good teamwork, but you're not still one with each other. You're like, you're kind of, but not really. Mm-hmm. Mm. This is like the weirdest date slash group date ever. But you know what? It's okay. We've had a lot of weird group dates in this series. Six episodes. And you know what? That's okay. Oh. Yeah. It's okay. Yeah. I don't know, honestly, I think I'm probably the only person seeing those two, and I really want to kick their ass. Oh, God, they got on my nerves. You better hug her, damn it. Okay, hold up. You know I gotta say, you, the way the camera was like looking up, I really thought we were gonna kill. <laughs> no, but you can learn. How they look like they're gonna kiss right then and there. Oh yeah, the phone. <laughs> Cody, I'm almost done. <laughs> so 
okay. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Cody. Oh my dad, her home wallpaper. You can see it every day. It's so fucking cute. Oh, I'm so damn much. But yeah, ultimately, it, it's good that they need to communicate. Hopefully. Even though, like, I was hoping that they would have won that race between the Hell Kitchen Crows, but no. Not every race is immediately in the cards. You, you, you can be able to win it. I think, you know, as of right now, six episodes in, my top three favorite girls are really Misa and Ren. Um, the goddesses who were in this episode and Jen and Emily. They like they make me laugh and like really care about them a lot. I really don't give a shit about the Hell Kitchen girls. I do still like um the silver haired girl and then the reddish haired girl who kinda reminds me of another character from a different anime. So I think they would be like number four for me because the fact is the last time we saw them essentially from this episode was one and two and they haven't been seen ever since until today. And you think that they would have a little more screen time in this show. But I think because the fact is they are the number one, this kind of gives me feels of freaking um, Hanakana Receive. And when the top girls who were like um, the top volleyball players in that series, they were shown, but not as much because of the fact is they weren't the main characters. It focused on um, the other two girls who I love so much. But I mean, I'm just saying. It's just sometimes, you know, you, as much as you love these two, you want to see the other girls, but it's their story. They're girlfriends. They're supposed to be together no matter what. It, it's like, it's their love story. Dang it. You gotta feel bad for her between, you know, sucking at bowling this week and now she's on the ground. She must have, like, it's either one of two things. She tripped or she's uh, exhausted that she's just like, huh, ah, fell to the ground. You know, it happens to all of us. You know, we get really tired and you're just like, oh, fuck it. I just want to die. But, I mean, hey, that is literally going to be everybody yeah. <laughs> once the new year comes on, comes out. January 1st is like, everybody's like, yes, let's go. Let's get it. Let's get it. January 2nd is like, everybody, fuck it. Like, everyone's just like on the ground. They don't want to work out anymore. They're tired. Nobody wants to do anything. But then there are always like, maybe like out of 10 people, maybe three or five of them who eventually complete their goals. I mean, so yeah, the five of those, that would be like Misa and then everybody else would be Ren, like in a nutshell. Those would be the people who just, you know, I'm too tired. I don't want to do anything anymore. But I mean, I, essentially they needed this episode, especially with the fact is that you had two other teams. Also really the girls who I consider look like Nico, the lolly girls, um, essentially telling them that, yeah, you guys need to communicate better. And the fact is that finally, after so many freaking episodes, she's like, here, let's communicate on the phone. And the fact is that these two are so adorable, Keep talking together, texting each other at night. Like, oh my God, shut up, please. Like, I, I can't with you two. Like, you're gonna, you're gonna kill me. And I'm just gonna, like, look at my babies. We ship them so damn much. I mean, also, like, with this date, it was okay. If the Gatters, nor Jen and Emily were there, and it was just those two, I think it would have been fine. But it is still sad that the Gatters kicked their ass on, like, everything that they tried. Like, oh my god. <laughs> but that just tells you, like, the communication for them were so much better than those two. And I hope that especially, really, after this episode, maybe, like, two or three episodes later, um, 
because you can see that they're getting better. Hopefully they can become one, not only in their teamwork, but communicating and then anything else they need to really become one. At. I'm just saying, cause you know, I want them to be able to win this by the end of the series, but I feel like by the way the pacing is going, we're not really going to see them necessarily win. So, and plus like a, a, like a little bit of me, maybe like a teeny weeny tiny part of me wants this show to have a second season, but then I feel like they're just going to be like, let's kind of rush into things. Let's hurry up and get them into another race and let them do the competition, yada, yada, yada. Let them get um, revenge from episode one and episode two. And then essentially, bam, that's it. Let's just end the show like that. And whatever, like do something like they're going to probably do something like uh, how Keijo did where essentially there's more to the story, but then you got to read the manga to find out. And I don't even think this is based off of a manga. I think this is based off of a video game. So it's essentially they're kind of like making up stuff as they go along. But I mean, hey, if it had a season two, I wouldn't be mad at it. That would give me more opportunities and more moments, especially with Rin and Misa. But I mean, this is only episode six for Christ's sake. But it just, the pacing and the way I think it's going to go, I feel like they're just going to be like, just rushing it every single week. And then I'm just going to be like, what the fuck was this in, in a nutshell? But other than that, guys, that is my reaction to you guys episode six of Check Girls. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Magical Squad. And of course, I will see you guys officially all next Wednesday for episode seven. Bye, guys. Thank you.